Since the establishment of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, NCDMB, in 2010, a number of initiatives have been put in place to grow local capacity through human capital development. The primary goal remains to strengthen in-country capacity for further domestication and engagement in the oil and gas industry. This will drastically reduce the high rate of unemployment. Some progress is being made in this direction with the attainment of 30% domestication of local content in the industry. Of course, expert rates are still needed, but the attainment of 30% local content simply means their numbers are being reduced. We met a situation where there was no capacity. So you must create capacity first before monitoring that capacity. If you have no capacity, you just go and sleep. You are not able to do all the work. The board plans to ensure 70% presence of local content in the sector going by its 10-year strategic roadmap. This, however, largely depends on how much of the current challenges it can overcome. We are focused on building the requisite shipyards and manufacturing capabilities. And then we also had uh, employment aspirations, which is um, 300,000. Availability of finance to pursue its mandate is one of the board's constraints. This is worsened by the inability of players in the industry to contribute to the Content Intervention Fund. We've created a window for companies that have not been contributing. Forensic auditors are looking at the books, they're telling us the actual and then we're allowing these companies to say, okay, this is what we think, then we'll do a reconciliation. Now that window will be closed, I think, by end of this month. The EES has met with the EFCC. We see non-remittance as a financial crime. The board plans to increase monitoring and compliance in the industry through the deployment of tools, policies, and frameworks. From the nation's capital, Chinemarim, Joseph, STV News.